What is up, you guys? Bold98, and in this video, we're going to be talking about Season 5 Reloaded as it just dropped today. And we have new weapons, new skins, new challenges. Let's get into it. So, guys, Season 5 Reloaded is here. And before we get into it, know that this is a hefty update. Many of you have probably already done your update, but it is hefty. It was 105 gigabytes for me, and I'm on an Xbox Series S, so I can only imagine what PC and other you know console editions are looking like but with this update we did get our private sector with the uh lockman shroud the pickaxe and the nine millimeter daemon like we talked in our last video but now we can see the challenges that we have to complete for these things like for the pickaxe we have to get 15 operator kills with melee weapons easy if you get on shipment 24 7 which they do still have is easy then we look at our nine millimeter daemon you have to get 15 operator headshot kills with pistols another easy one if you're running around with the ftac siege and just in shipment and our last one of course being the lockman shroud where you need 30 operator hip fire kills with smg which again is super easy on shipment i can't stress this stress is enough if you want these done really quick go to shipment for everything we're going to talk about even when we get into our weapon camo challenges yes we got new weapon challenges again like every other event um basic challenges the same we're used to looking at two camos you get one for doing your basic challenge like per weapon and then you get your master this is the basic we don't see what the master is yet but this is our best view of the basic right now the master one is not even in the game currently however whenever this camo does get released into the game i will definitely bring it but these are basically our challenges you have 250 operator kills with assault rifles the basic stuff now there are some things that have changed no longer for uh launchers and melee at least do you have to now kill operators you can kill enemies meaning you can kill NPCs within DMZ, Warzone, and Ground War and still get these challenges completed for this, the pistol, and the melee. So I definitely suggest you guys go do that unless you just like playing multiplayer. We also have vehicle challenges this season. Yes, yeah, so vehicle challenges do give us a vehicle skin, but they also give us, if you do six, you get a loading screen, emblem, and weapon. Here's our vehicle skin for the best image that we could get right now because you actually cannot load these up. And they do have certain challenges as well. Get 30 enemy kills by running them over with the vehicle. Ram 5 enemy vehicles at high speed. Stay in the air for 5 seconds. Things like this. And again, operators are online characters. Enemies being online characters and NPC players. Also, they've added in Armored Royale. Meaning that this could help get these vehicle challenges done just a tad bit faster. Because you're going to be with quads. And I know one of them, for instance, you have to literally get kills while you're in the turret of a weapon so meaning someone's gonna have to be driving you unless you get into a stationary place and then it can maybe work but it would probably work best if you're getting drove around also we did get a new operator release with season 5 reloaded which was 21 savage yes he's finally in the game he has 2400 cop points he comes with three weapons two being firing weapons one being a melee has this finishing move has a vehicle skin has a charm has a sticker and loading screen so he marks all the boxes guys let me know what you think of the video down below and if you were excited about season 5 reloaded and grinding for these weapon skins along with the vehicle skins i'll see you in the next one peace out